Hello everyone and welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on mostly any Nokia phone. I'm using the N73 music edition. You have multiple choices. If you have an older PC you can also use Phoenix. If you have a newer PC you can use Nokia Best PB5. Even uh, Nemesis but uh, let's focus on uh, BB5. So, plug in your phone, choose PC Suite, let's go to BB5, it should see it any minute. There we go. Let's read if it has a user. Okay, it's reading it. Good. So, let's go to flashing. And here, model. This is model RM133. Exactly. Let's start choosing the pipes. Uh, where is it? Here it is, RM133. The problem is, uh, we don't know which file to choose to install. So, to not break the phone, because if you choose wrong and it starts installing, it either fails and it stops there, or it, start, it starts to erase the current firmware, and uh, it can't install the new one. So, instant brick. So, Leave the BB5 open and enter Phoenix. Of course, you have to copy the install files on in the Phoenix products. It doesn't exactly. Well, anyway, let's go to open product. One, three, three. Apparently doesn't want to see it, but let's go to firmware update anyway and choose this one RM133. This uh, version that I'm using is for, for Ukraine. And if you don't know what to install, just click on options, and here it tells you which files it will install in it. So knowing this, we go back to BB5. Let me pull this up. So, we need N73 4.8, all this thing. CC.FPSX. This is the MCU. So, N73. We're looking for N. Wait, it's a N. It remained then the last one. <laughs> So, RM133, N73, underline 4, CC, this is one, the one, open it up, now, PPM1, all files again, N73, underline ROFX. PRD.05 Now content User User area N73 user area It's technically the first three files but the sometimes the update files requires that you fill all this up <laughs> and that's why you need this so you can know what it is well you know what no no factory set and let's click flash now let's see what happens with the phone
Now it's currently installing. I can't actually move the camera or the phone because in case uh, it loses the connection, it would be bad, like very bad. <laughs> now it's, as you can see down there, it says erasing area one. So now it's in the erasing process. This is how I bricked my first N95. Let me take the mouse out of the stop button because uh, I've selected the wrong files there and uh, I also stopped it. No, it, it uh, gave an error and I was forced to stop it and it erased it. It uh, erased the previous firmware but it couldn't detect the phone to install the new one. So yeah, bricked. Now not even Phoenix can see it. Sorry if the autofocus is bad. Now it's time to write it. Hopefully it will write it. <laughs> I'm looking at the phone's screen and uh, it doesn't say anything. This, uh, the N73 has the classic uh, data cable and sometimes I think you also had, might have experience with it. It doesn't press properly on the, on the connector and it loses the connection. That's why I'm not touching the cable anymore. I'm leaving it to fully install and after it says it's ready, I'm going to unplug it. I really don't want to break this phone. Especially because this was my, my personal N73 from high school. Only 68 hours spoken on it. I mean, yeah, I didn't use it exactly to talk to it. I only used it to <laughs> play games, uh, stay on the internet, you know. This method with BB5 works uh, even on newer PCs. It doesn't have the problem like the Phoenix. I only use the Phoenix now to see which file goes where. Fast forward again. Almost there. Sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, fifty-one, seventy-two. Seven minutes and thirty-three seconds needed to flash it. Now let's see if it will reboot. Okay. <laughs> the phone is in local mode. Really? I don't know why, but. Uh, the phone it's in local mode now I left it like this well since uh, it's stuck like this to take it out of local mode we can go to service tool here phone mode normal and press set to or you can just take the battery out put it back in and that's it now it doesn't say local mode anymore on the screen but it says nokia I don't know if you can see it, I blocked the autofocus on the monitor. There we go. Nice. Before we get to start it up and everything, look, it started up. It's the standard green team. <laughs> uh, I will set it, but uh, I will have to reset the camera first. So you got the idea, right, on how to do it. This is very risky anyway. If the firmware folders are corrupted, it can also fail and it can also break it. This is something you must do at your own risk. I've risked mine and I also risked my N95 and I bricked it. I knew of the danger. So if when you choose the file and don't know what to choose, do it like I did in Phoenix. Also copy the firmware folder and products in Phoenix. Even if it doesn't connect, if you chose the product from file and open product, it will automatically select the firmware needed. Like in this uh, particular one, the RM133, the, this is the music edition version. And you click options, like I said before, and it shows you this file is type image is like the ISO image from where it installs 
and that that is the file that you choose on MCU next up is the PPM and it, sa it says this file sometimes it can have uh, two PPMs it also says another file and another PPM type and you put them both also with content it may say it may some update files may have three content files you put them all here exactly copy paste this you know if you can't copy paste something how are you supposed to pass exams <laughs> joke then don't don't check anything else here I only if you want to factory reset it but uh, if it's a new firmware it will reset it anyway flash it and that's uh, all you need to do i hope you will find this tutorial useful make sure to do it like i told you to do it and if you have questions don't hesitate to ask them in the comments but just so you know depending on what firmware you're using the phone is in uh, risk of being bricked now i'm going to move the camera so i can uh, show you from above the phone be right back so let's set this uh, phone Uh, I don't care about that And here we have it folks the music edition Nokia N73 No need I kind of already know what you can do This is the exact version that we installed The first startup is usually the hardest one. That's when the phone, well, this phone, it's uh, a bit sluggish. But after you use it for a while without turning it off, it should work just fine. Office. Something else should be games. Yeah, no games, unfortunately. There's that music player. Do you have the standard music in my heart? Yeah. <laughs> There's the music. Camera works. Well, of course it works. Also. Nailed it. So the phone was just fine. The talk towers are still here. Since this was my personal phone, you can see 68 and 43 minutes. So yeah, this is how you install the firmware, firmware with BB5. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I wish you a very awesome day, just like yourselves. Bye. Back to the show.